All right, well, let's continue Yakuza 5. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I got scared there for a sec. I was like, wait, why is new game the first option? It's okay. These games have always had clunky load save screens. So, um, I didn't really, I did the first opening chapter, uh, I guess for those that missed it, Kiryu, yeah, I don't know what's happened to him, like, he seems to be in a whole new city, he's got a whole new name, he's going by an alias, and his adopted daughter is nowhere to be found, so, I don't know, something must have happened, there's a side quest somewhere here. Dog. Is that a dog? It's, it's down here. Are they picking on a dog? Okay, me next. I'll hit it for sure this time. Just you watch. Oh man. Stop it, don't you bully Chiro no anymore. Who's this kid? Is that her dog? Who cares? Hey kid, you better scoot or we'll throw rocks at you next. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Show no mercy. That's how we drop out to do it. Screw the rules, annihilate everything. That was such a <laughs> bad throw. Who's this prick? You lost your way to the bingo game? Funny. I feel like this isn't the first time seeing this. And now he's babbling on like a senile old fool. He's losing it. Hey, mister. You're not one of them, are you? Not even close. Just stand back and you'll see. You there. Does it make you feel strong to pick on the weak and defenseless? It's a shame I have to say this, but I guess every town has its fair share of losers. Shut your face! You should have never messed with us in the first place. Boys, cripple this son of a bitch. It's okay, I, I want experience. Hey, <laughs> didn't... Do I get to adopt the doggo? I think that's what he's saying, is just, in every game, I feel like you have to rescue a dog. <laughs> oh my god. I love how visceral the takedowns are on this one. Dude! We are so sorry! Please, don't hurt us anymore! A pack of 123 gum. Uh, thanks, mister. Don't mention it. They didn't hurt you, did they? If you'd like, I can take you home. Actually, I ran away. I had a fight with my dad. Kinda girl like you really ran away from home? Yeah, my dad's probably still angry with me. So I don't want to go back right now. What's your name? It's Haruka. Haruka Shinohara. Oh, man. Haruka? Interesting. Even your name is just right. This is why it's so familiar. Because this is how... Oh, man. This is how he met his adopted daughter. Same as who? So you and this Haruka-chan live apart now. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll ever see her again. Oh shit, what happened? Why not? Can't you just go and visit? It's a bit more complicated than that. As much as I want to be in her life, I know I'm only being selfish. Besides, I think I've done all I can for her as a father. This is probably for the best. How about you? Why'd you run away? 
Here's the thing. I'm not actually related to my dad either. Huh? I guess that's another thing I've got in common with your Haruka-chan. Strange, isn't it? My real dad died a long time ago, and normally my stepdad's really nice, but he gets super angry these days. Something about work not going well? I don't know the details. Anyway, he blew up at me for no reason, and I told him to his face, my real dad would never yell at me. Then I left the house. When I mentioned having a real dad, my stepdad got this really sad look on his face. He just kept staring at me like he'd be hit on the head on something. That's when I knew I'd hurt his feelings really bad. I guess that's why he didn't come running after me. I bet mom and dad are glad I'm not around to cause trouble anymore. So, so now I've got nowhere to go home. Where do you live, Haruka? I'll go get your dad to come pick you up. But I don't think he... Ugh. Your dad was probably just caught off guard. There's no way he'd be happy you're gone. I'm sure of it. It's also a dad's job to bring his kids home when they run away. You just need to wait for him. Where's your dad right now? Probably at Cafe Portugal working with mom. We actually live in that building. Cafe Portugal. Okay. I'll be back with your dad soon. Just hang tight for a bit. I swear if his dad looks like me. Just, I can, I can see it coming. Wait, where is it? It's a good thing I checked. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what happened with him and Haruka. They'll, they'll probably explain it. But for him to take up a whole new identity, I don't know. Hey, there's the asshole! Finally tracked your ugly face down. Who are you again? Uh? Don't pretend like you don't know. We're here to settle the score. Seriously? I have no idea who you are. You do and you goddamn know it. Now strap in, it's time we pay you back double for what you did to us yesterday. Oh, you're those punks I had to teach a lesson. Guess class is back in session. Not today, pal. No way you're getting one over us. One over on us. Not with the backup we got in store for ya. So you brought someone else to finish a job you couldn't. Guess you're not just a creep, but a coward too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talking. We'll wipe that dumb smirk off your face soon enough. Come out here, Nagata-san. This your man? Mm-hmm. Eh. <laughs> If you already wrote your will, wrinkle ass, because Nagata-san here is a member of the legendary Nagasu Devil Killers. Think you're tough? Wait till Nagata-san here gets his paws on you. You're gonna look at smears on the ground and wish that was you. The Nagasu Devil Killers? Sorry, I've never heard of them. You what? Look, can we just get this over with so I can go to work in peace? You're gonna make me late. Oh, you work at Nagasu Taxi, then? That's none of your business. Ha! You boys are right, this guy's got a real attitude problem. How about we give him a new perspective from a hospital bed? What is with his shirt? And his pa- what? <laughs> that can't- that can't be a uniform, like, what is going on with that? Yep, real tough. Devil Killer sounds religious. It could be ironic. Don't you think? <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'll, I'll stop. I'm not gonna say the rest of the song. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Get it now? All this tough guy business is only gonna get you hurt. Why you? This ain't over yet. 
You're gonna regret the day you mess with the devil killers. Hey, all held up on the key. The devil killers, huh? They don't seem so tough. Well, I should really be getting to work. How's it going, is it, Twitch chat? Oh no, but hang on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I want I went to the Okay. <laughs> this is This is continuing the main story. I don't I thought this was going to the side quest, but it's not. That's fine. I mean, I, I want to find out what happened to Kiryu, but at the same time, the reason that I play these games is for the side quests. They're the most fun. Look at this. What is this parking? Okay. And yeah. No, 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 no. Crap. <laughs> Damn it, I couldn't get in the building. I don't know, man. Well, I guess this is a new town, but... In the other games, it's just like, you would think Word would get around to not mess with a man that can just lift the shit and just... <laughs> Here he's gonna be 70 and still kicking the living crap out of people. I mean, in this game, he's in his 40s, and he's still... <laughs> yeah, that. My back key's gone. What the heck? Where's my bag? Where'd I leave it? It says here. Excuse me. This is Cafe Portugal, right? Are you Haruka's father? Okay, he doesn't look like me. You've seen my daughter. She ran off and hasn't come home. I know. I actually saw her not too long ago. I can take you to where she is if you'd like. Of course. Lead the way. She's gone. Is this the place? Where's my daughter? She should be here. I don't see her anywhere. What's the meaning of this? I ever hear you, old farts. Death horn? Dad! Haruka, what's going on here? It's those guys that were tormenting that puppy. Looks like they're back with reinforcements. You may think you're tough, but we have strength in numbers now. You don't stand a chance. You'll be as dead as a doornail by the time we finish with you. You stay back. I can take these guys. I can't let you do this alone. They've taken my daughter hostage. What kind of father could just stand here and watch? Alright. Then let's take them on together. Time to give these brats a lesson in humility. Is there anything I can pick up? No. I should probably heal at some point. Oh my god, this form is cool. I mean, at least he's helping. Ow. <laughs> we both got knocked out. Oh no, he's knocked out. No, he's fine. 
Get him! <laughs> that can't be good for the spine. Ah! How did we let these geezers get the best of us? Haha, <laughs> you really pack a punch there, sir. <laughs> you didn't do so bad yourself. Look, your daughter's leading. Dad? You come here to get me? Of course I did, I was worried about you. I was nearly going crazy not knowing where you were. Look, Dad, I'm sorry I said those things about wishing my biological dad was around. It was a terrible thing to say. Don't worry. I don't expect you to forget about him just because I'm around. And I'm sorry I got frustrated and yelled at you. I promise I won't do that again. All I care about is that you come home safe with me and your mom. Okay, let's go home, Dad. So, you're good now, Haruka? Hey, wait up. I haven't had a chance to thank you properly. I know it's not much, but here, take this. Beads of good fortune? Thanks, mister. I hope you can go see your Haruka-chan sometime. I bet she misses you too. Huh? Like you said, it isn't a- isn't it a dad's- da, 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 da. Isn't it a dad's job to bring their kids back home when they run away? You're right. Not that it was Haruka who ran away. Man. Maybe just the events of the last game got him thinking like he's just... If he's around, bad shit happens. Sticking to body and hate, just making myself tanky. <laughs> Level 8 body. Alright, I'll go. Um, looks like I got another sub quest here. You can't uh, you can't drop the pin. Okay. I honestly can't wait to get back to a PS4 Yakuza game. This is the last PS3 era game. But I've heard this one's the longest game in the series, so we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I was supposed to pick it up, but I kicked it. Time to take out the trash! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, that backhand. Oh man. These moves are super satisfying. Alright. Uh. I guess it's fine. I'll, I'll end up there anyway. I don't like this town's layout <laughs> compared to Camarocho. 
Ah, come on, man. Wait until he grabs me. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a restaurant nearby and I can eat and heal. Climax heat. Using heat action builds up the climax gauge. Surrounding the dragon mark in the upper left corner. You can trigger climate action when the gauge is full. Okay. I feel like I've been doing that, but okay. I love how this guy is, is fine now. Just. I heard a snap. That can't have been healthy. Okay, hold on. What is this? Oh, this is. Yeah. I thought it was a food place. Hold on. I just want to make sure that I'll be okay health wise. Yep, here we go. Oh man, I could go for some of this. I mean, which would you go for? If this was me in real life, I'd probably go for the beef or... What else? Maybe the shrimp. Either one of these two. I'll eat another one. I think this gives you experience for eating unique ones as well. Yeah. Wait, is my health okay? No, it's not full. Okay, let's try this one. That's better. Yeah, I highly doubt they'd be driving a flower parade car around this time of year. I'm telling you, I saw one. There was even that blinky red light on the roof. I'm pretty sure what you saw was a taxi. That's the only explanation I can think of. A taxi with a blinking red light? Hmm? Excuse me. Ah! Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, can we help you, sir? I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Can you tell me about this taxi you saw? Well, she says she saw a taxi with a blinking red light, right? 
Yeah, what do you call those lights taxis have on the roof? Uh, anyway, the taxi, I saw had one of those. I told her I'd never seen anything like that before. I saw it, I swear. Maybe it only happens to people who are lucky. Ooh, maybe we should go buy a lottery ticket. You two get to learn something today. Huh? The light you saw, you see on a taxi's roof, that usually means it's not carrying a passenger, correct? Oh, uh, right. But in an emergency, you can make it blink red to warn those around that something's wrong. Like what? For example, if the driver's attacked by a thief, they can press a button to silently call for help. Seriously? So that taxi I saw... Where did you see it? It was stopped on Nagasu Boulevard, north of the intersection up ahead. That was a little while ago now, though. They might already be gone. It's probably too late to call the police now. I'll go check it out myself. I'll go take a look. Can you notify the police just in case? Are you sure you're going to be alright, dude? Drivers always come to help anyone showing that signal, even when it's another company. Oh, so you're a taxi driver too. Dang, I straight up thought you were a yuck. I mean, that explains why you know so much. Be careful then. I mean, good instincts. Turn around the other way. Sorry. Oh my god, there's like a bad guy on every damn corner. There it is. From this distance, nothing looks amiss except for the light. I'd better check the interior. They sped off as soon as I got close. Did they know I was here to help? Seems like they're headed north. Alright, time to go after them. Nope. Oh, come on. Can I use the trash to fight them? No. <laughs> Holy crap, look how far I kicked that bike. <laughs> oh man, I love this game. Damn, I lost sight of them. Talk about dangerous. These taxis are out of control. What happened? Ooh. Yipes, uh, uh, I mean, what happened is I just about got flattened by a taxi. Guy was driving like a maniac. Was the light on the taxi flashing red? Actually, it was. I caught a glimpse of the driver and he said... Oh, he had a look on his face like he'd seen a ghost. Maybe he had an impatient passenger. He looked like he's seen a ghost, huh? Then it must have been some kind of emergency. Do you know which way the taxi went? It was headed towards Suzukake Lane, I think. Suzukake Lane. Got it. Thanks. You've been a big help. I'd better hurry. That driver's in trouble. I'm heading up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh. A rich bastard wants to fight.
<laughs> oh come on, knock it off. I just fought, I just fought someone. The fuck is with this town and just everyone wanting a fight every corner? Can I, can I go now? Like, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> what? I took three steps. <laughs> What's going on? I just, I can't go anywhere in this town. Found it. Drove off again. Hey, wait, what gives? Something wrong? Ah, huh. oh, it's just that the driver is a friend of mine. I called out when I saw him, but he was acting real strange. What do you mean? He looked really spooked. He mumbled something about Yakuza. Yakuza? Maybe his passenger? Then he glanced up at his rear mirror and sped off all of a sudden. It was weird. Must have been threatened from the back seat. Did you see his passenger? No, I, I didn't look in the back. You think he's caught in some kind of trouble? Which way did the taxi go? Straight on ahead. That's toward Fukuhaku Street. Okay, well... I'm not gonna get lost this time. I'm pretty sure it's me he's afraid of. Haha. <laughs> ha. I dodged that. Isn't that? The taxi with the emergency signal on. Nobody's in there. I guess I was too late. Where'd the driver and the Yakuza go? Alright, I know you've been following me. What is it you want? So you're the one behind us. Nice of you to come straight to me. So, now what did you do with the driver? Huh? You're not making any damn sense. But if you come looking for trouble, you found it. You better skedaddle or else. Not happening. Taxi drivers may be rivals, but we've got to look out for each other. Good. Yes, that's what I get for picking a fight with a Yakuza. You're the Yakuza. I'm just an ordinary citizen. What? I'm the civilian here. You mean you're not the angry Yakuza passenger? What the hell does that mean? Do I look like a Yakuza to you? I hate those money-grabbing, finger-chopping assholes. Wait, are you the driver? What in tarnation are you rambling about? Of course I'm the driver! Then, why aren't you wearing a uniform? Hey, I was on break. What's the point of being all buttoned up for that? True. So you weren't getting robbed? Robbed? Who was getting robbed? I thought a passenger was threatening you and that's why you were driving erratically. Why on earth would you think that? I was just taking a nap when some Yakuza type tried to get in the car so I drove off. 
I've had a lot of nasty trouble whenever those fellas try to hitch a ride, and I'll be damned if I let it happen again. But the guy today just kept chasing after me. I thought he was crazy or something. This Yakuza, are you saying... It's you! Is that why you flashed the emergency light? Did I? See for yourself. Oh, whoops. Must have hit the switch while I was napping again. I tend to toss and turn. I'm a side sleeper, you see. Well, sorry about that. Uh, didn't thank you for one of us. I'm allergic to Yakuza. So I thought I had a pretty good instinct for spotting them. This is the first time my gut has been wrong. I'm really ashamed I thought so badly of a fellow driver. Don't worry about it. Just be careful not to trip that switch by accident again. I don't know what to say. I've never had someone go to so much trouble to help me out before. You're right. Taxi drivers may be rivals, but we've got to look out for each other. Those are damn good words to live by. Anyway, thanks. Take this for your trouble. Okay, I'd better go back to work. Good luck out there. May as well. Okay, we're caught up. Uh, just to make this quick, I'll... Catch cab! <laughs> Before I get into another fight. Are you kidding? They, they were already there waiting for me. Must get to work. <laughs> Good, I don't have to read. <laughs> That's right, they were partying the night before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Suzuki-san, good morning. Morning. I heard you went to see Tenjin Transportation yesterday. They sent a little thank you gift your way. Apparently whatever you gave them last night went over well. There was even a nice note with it. You must have brought them something pretty special. It's not like they're president to act this way. It wasn't all that special. Well, anyway, you should hang on to this. Um... Are you sure? Isn't this for the company? Didn't you go apologizing on the chief's behalf? I know he'd want you to have it. If you insist, thanks. I guess I'd better head out for the day. On your way out, Suzuki-kun. Oh, Wada-san. Yeah. I was thinking of doing a few loops around Nagasu. Well, ain't that the most perfect timing? Mind if I bum a ride off ya? My place is a bit of a hike from here, so I'd, re I'd be real appreciative if you just dropped me off on the way. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Great. You're a lifesaver. What a son, you know you shouldn't be using our taxis for your own personal gain. Seriously, Muramatsu-kun? Yeah, seriously. You're the most senior driver here, so you need to set the example. Man, way to call me out. 
Ah, cut the guy some slack, Muramatsu-kun. Ain't a big deal, as long as it's not every day. Suzuki-san, you don't mind taking Wada-chan along, do you? And Wada-chan, as long as you're getting a free lift, you might want to give Suzuki-san here some advice. You're a top driver, so you gotta show the new blood how it's done. Be glad to, Chief. Let's hit the road, then. Is this gonna be a taxi minigame? Let's get going, then. Yeah. Oh. Nakajima-san wanted me to give you a few driving tips while we're at it. Bet I'm the last guy you want to hear advice from, but just indulge an old man. Not at all. I, I appreciate it. All right, off we go. Take water. Oh my god. Is this... <laughs> is this about to become Crazy Taxi? Oh my god. Okay, R2's accelerator. Reposition. Answer, 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 answer. X is apparently unused. Horn is L3. Break. Okay. You can drive forward. If you press it too quickly, you will accelerate silently, exiting your passengers. Sometimes when driving, you'll see penalties appear on the right side of the screen. The following are subject. Starting acceleration, sudden hazards, braking. Driving the wrong way, sudden sweat. <laughs> so basically driving badly. It's fine, it's fine. That car, I mean, didn't have the right of way, but that's, that's cool. Dickhead kind of merged in. You must stop at red lights. Okay. Well, it's not currently red. When turning... Oh, whoops. Oh, fuck, the game fucked me. It's not quite cr crazy taxi, it's actually real driving. Sometimes when driving a passenger, they may strike up a conversation. Okay, don't worry, you'll get that. You enjoy it? Things are going well. I'm going really slow. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm letting that car go. Longest traffic light ever. I thought that pedestrian was gonna walk across. I'm driving like an old person. <laughs> Stop sign. 
You must come to a full stop when there are markings on the road. See, I didn't see that. Oh, this is annoying. Well, what was that dude doing? He walked onto the road and then just decided to change. <laughs> Thanks. You really saved my skin there. My pleasure. Your advice was very helpful. I'm glad. If there's ever anything else I can help with, just say the word. Good luck out there. See you around. Oh! There's a taxi! You taking passengers? Sure. Get in. Oh boy. Nice day out, huh? It is. Sure has been awful cold out lately. Every year the fall gets shorter and the winter gets longer, am I right? Don't you think so, driver? I guess. You're pretty quiet for a cabbie. <laughs> hey, driver. There's only so much silence I can take. How long have you been at this job? Only around six months. Oh, okay. That explains it. What's he talking about? Let me put it to you like this. I don't know about other parts, but here in Fukuoka, taxi drivers are expected to keep up the conversation. Most of us locals here in Fukuoka like to chat. If you don't have the gift of the gab, you're not gonna get regular customers. I see. My boss told me the same thing, come to think of it. I bet he did. Taxi driving's a service job, and small talk's a big part of the service. Right. But I don't know what to talk about. Then how about I give you some pointers? Such as? Well, I thought I'd do we'd do some practice dialogue, help you get started. I'm not speaking the Hakata dialect, so it should be easy to follow. Sound good? Okay. So, how's business today? I'm asking you, driver. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's see. <laughs> pretty good. Business is pretty good. It helps when I get passengers like you who are going on longer trips. There you go. That's how it's done. Okay, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So, have you gotten the hang of the job yet? No, I still have plenty to learn. Yeah, I imagine it takes time. What sort of work do you do? Me? I'm more of a glorified security guard more than anything else. Never mind that, though. Different subject. Sure. What's your favorite Hakata food so far? Ramen? I might have to say Hakata ramen. Ah, Hakata ramen's a classic. Each restaurant has its own take on the standard tonkotsu broth. You try it as many different places as you can. I might just do that. Oh, hey. You know what you should try next? Gameni. Gameni? Never heard of that one. Is that any good? Why, sure. You might hear some people call it... Chikuzeni. Anyway, it's a chicken and vegetable stew. You always have it at New Year's. Ah. Ah. What the... Damn! What happened? The car behind us sped up all of a sudden and tried to run us off the road. Are you alright, sir? I'm fine. But that car... It looks like they're one of the devil killers. Devil killers? Street racers who cause nothing but trouble. They challenge people on the road and shake them down for money if they lose. Happened to a lot of people already. That punk from earlier said he was with the Devil Killers. Now that I think back on it, I didn't realize they were this much of a menace. Now they've decided to pick on a local taxi? Bunch of goddamn lunatics. You know what, though? 
A professional driver like you should be more than capable of handling them. Go ahead and take them on. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I didn't tell you, but I'm actually with the motor patrol unit of the Fukuoka police. What? You're an officer? Yeah. And I'm not the kind who sits back on his ass while a bunch of little shits pretend like they own the road. Driver, you have my permission. We need to take a stand against these reckless criminals if we want to keep the streets safe for our citizens. I can't guarantee this will turn out how you want, but I might as well give it a shot. Great, let's burn some rubber. Here goes nothing. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. Drag heat actions, dri drift, haunt turbo. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just taunting. The music. <laughs> Turbo boost. When the gauge press X, use Turbo. Oh yeah, now. Yeah! Racing heat action. Sometimes an icon will appear on the screen. This means you have a chance to trigger a racing action. These actions can be triggered on the blue section of the map. Well, I missed it. <laughs> Stuck weird. But you know what? It fits into the series. Man, I don't believe this shit. I got my ass swept by a taxi driver. Hey, I remember you. Oh, jeez, it's that muscle-bound freak again. All right, you. Mark my words. You're gonna wish you were never made an enemy of the Devil Killers. You hear that, asshole? You fucked up real good this time. Oi! Hey, get back here. <sighs> Damn, you know that guy? Not really, he... Picked a fight with me on the street a while back. No kidding. That was no ordinary driving there, though. Were you ever a street racer yourself? No. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Well, sorry for all the trouble. Let me treat you to a nice meal? You don't have to do that. Oh, come on. You've got to let me pay you back somehow. Besides, there's something I want to ask you about. What is it? I'll tell you while we're eating. How's that sound? I suppose that's fine. Oh man, look at the meat. ここは俺のお気に入りの店でね。まあ、遠慮せずに食ってくれや。すいません。では、いただきます。うん。ああ、しかし、すまんかったら面倒なことには基本じまって。やつらデビルキラーとか言ってましたね。ガススラカホールサイドストーリー。昔はハシリを追求するストイックな集団だったが、今はただの暴走族。悪さばかりしてる最低の連中だよ。そうなんですか。だが、まずいことになったな。運転手さん、完全に奴らに狙われちまった
ウンちゃんには勝負を受けてほしいんだそしてヤツらを帰りそう、so、we have officially sanctioned straight racing 本気で言ってるんですかな冗談みたいに聞こえるかもしれねえが俺は本気だあんたの腕を見込んで頼んでいる He's crazy ヤツらにとっては早ズが全てだどれだけ強制的に捕まえてもレースバトルで負けなかったらヤツらは納得思わないヤツらを実質的に I don't know if this is translating this correctly because he keeps saying race battle and nothing appears on the subtitles あれで一応走り屋だからなだが我々警察がヤツらと一緒にレースバトルをする Yeah, I don't think it's translating this correctly What's wrong with saying race battle? 俺らの代わりにヤツらと戦ってくれる協力者が必要になるそれが私だとあんたはいい腕を持ってるあんただったらヤツらをギャフンと言わせることができるかもしれん俺はそう思ってる頼む協力してくれねえかヤツらをこのままにしておくわけにはいかねえんだしかしあいつらはここ数ヶ月でどんどん勢力を増してきていやがる被害も増える一方だ最初はあいつらも走り屋だけを標的にしていたからまだ良かっただが最近じゃ一般人でもお構いなしだ家族連れ老人あんたと同業のタクシー運転手だってかなり被害に遭ってるタクシー運転手あああいつらをこのまま放っておいたらいずれあんたの同僚も危ない目に遭うかもしれねえ He has a point. うんちゃん頼むこの通りだ俺はこれ以上被害者を出したくねえんだ<笑> I can't let that happen. わかりました。本当かええ。俺で役に立てるなら。ありがとう。すまんがよろしく頼む。さあ、遠慮せずにもっと食ってくれや。Man, permission to do street racing and free food? のレースバトルを邪魔しないように警察には俺から言っておくから安心してくれ。それじゃ、頼んだよ、鈴木さん。Great, now I'm racing the devil killers. What have I got on myself into? ただいま戻りました。ああ、鈴木さん、和田サンバ送ってもらって悪かったね。今日はどげんやった。お客さんついたね。い,いえ、それがデビルキラーという連中に絡まれました。もういないせいだよ。どうされましたか。あ、あいや、なんでんだか。OK。デビルキラーあの暴走族みたいな連中のことですよねええ彼らにレースバトルを申し込まれまして<笑>レースバトルをカバンこんな素人相手に We know they're saying race battle Why don't they put it in there? Clearly said they challenged me to a race battle デビルキラーにええそして県警の古道という方からデビルキラーをレースバトルで倒してほしいとい I mean if it's the term race battle that they hate they could have changed it to racing battle or something あいつらを潰す最善の方法 or battle race そ,そんなことってそうね鈴木さん事情は分かったわいその古道さんいう人には俺の方から確認ばしておけ。社長、like, who are they fooling? <laughs> It's basically English. 
巻き込まれてしまいましてご迷惑ですよね迷惑だなんてそげんことなかよ鈴木さんが悪いわけやなかっちゃけ謝らんといて悪かとはデビルキラーなんやけ社長ああ悪い悪いとりあえず鈴木さん今日はお疲れ様いろいろあったけん上がってもらって大丈夫ばいもしまだ仕事場したかとやったらジムの平川さんに声ばかけてみて利用依頼が来とうと思うけんわかりましたそれじゃよろしくね That was such a strange pause. Okay. Suzuki san, I have some work for you. Let's see. Wages will be paid into your account as you complete races and taxi missions. You can withdraw your wages by accident in any TM. Oh shit. This is this is a whole thing. It has a Eurobeat flavor that pumps you up in a race. <laughs> so I was not expecting this missions. Not race. Free missions? Really dr Dude, it's like a taxi mode. Ticking the boxes, alright. This has piqued my curiosity. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Nagasu Boulevard, please. I'm in a hurry to meet one of my clients. Understood. Let's go. Oh, there's a time limit on this one, shit. I forgot about the traffic light. This is insane. <laughs> Let's run them up the road. I'm going the wrong way. I'm not doing well here, chat. It's gonna be light. <sighs> the can't help but suddenly break. There's there's no big map. This this sucks. <sighs> Fuck's sake. gonna happen again.
Oh, wait. Okay. Right. Okay. Got a, a quick arrival. <laughs> a couple of, uh... Bad things happened, but the, I think overall... Indifferent. <laughs> Thank you, but I have a confession to make. I'm actually a driving... Uh-oh. A driving examiner? Yes. Your driving skills are good, but I think you still have room for improvement. Thank you. Your driving skills are good. You only just scraped that person on the road. It's okay. Oh, Suzuki-san, can you come here for a minute? Sure, what can I help you with? I know you just got back, but we have another pickup request. Nobody else is available right now, so I'd like you to handle it if you can. Then leave it to me. I'd be happy to take care of it. Great, thank you. The client didn't seem to be in any sort of a rush, so you could always take a break first. Whatever works best for you. I'll go now. I think I'll head out now. Perfect. Let me tell you where you need to go. I don't play driving games, chat. <laughs> Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing is as far as I, I go. Oh, TV chef. テレビとか見なさそうな感じですよね。えっとね。なんかここら辺で美味しいお店教えてほしいんですけど。なるべく雑誌とかテレビとかに紹介されてないとこがいいな。美味しい店ですか。わかりました。では出します。よろしくお願
いえ普段は食事は簡単に済ませてしまうのであまりえー、そうなのそんなのもったいないですよ料理って不思議な力があると思うんですよ食べた人が笑ったり喜んだり幸せになれるんです僕自身シェフやってますけど作り手の思い以上に料理には何かがあるって思ってるんですよ気持ち一つで普段の食事がいろんな力になるんですこれってすごく素敵だと思いませんかそうですかうーんあんまり伝わらないかなあそうだ僕まだこの町いろいろと食べ歩きする予定なんで暇な時に声かけてくださいよ美味しいものを楽しく食べるといろいろといいことがあるのを教えてあげますからはあまた機会があれば期待して待ってますから来てくださいよそれじゃあ See how the gourmet can teach you how to boost your abilities by eating at a restaurant around town These can give you a big advantage in battles such as large health gains or improved attack power Now that I'm done eating I should head back to the office I mean, this was a mechanic in other games. Oh boy. Suzuki Taichi san, this is it. 少々お聞きしたいことがありましてお時間いただけないでしょうか悪いが忙しいんだでももう仕事は終わったんですよね見ればわかるだろう運転だけが仕事じゃないいろいろやることがあるんだ<笑>本当に少しだけでいいんです Oh boy. They know who he is. Koko Jo Otagai, Tsugoga Wari de Show. Basho Kaimasenka. すでにお分かりのことと思いますが自分たちは登場界の大門を担がせてもらってる人間です今回堂島会長の福岡訪問にあたり本家本部長兼会長秘書の直系青山組組長青山から会長の護衛役を仰せつかりました私森永と申します横にいるのは私の弟分の愛蔵です長い挨拶はいいそれで俺に聞きたいことってのは堂島会長の行方です行方ええ実は昨晩ダンナイズメッセンガザ組のマダラメ組長と坂月交渉のため長須街で面会しました交渉自体は問題なく終えられたのですがその後の会長の足取りがわからないんです堂島会長が面会終了後単独で行動してタクシーに乗り込んだところまでは分かっていますその後車で追いかけたのですが福岡の交通事情に疎い私たちは不覚にも会長が乗ったタクシーを見失ってしまいました会長を乗せたタクシーのナンバーの情報を陸運局に紹介した結果車は流すタクシーという会社のものであることをその後
運転手が鈴木太一という人間だということまではたどり着きましただが会長が鈴木太一という人間と知り合いだったという情報はないそれで私たちは謎の運転手鈴木太一さんに会うためここであなたの帰りを待ち続けたというわけですなぜ会長が待機列の中ほどにいたタクシーにわざわざ乗るような行動をとったのかその理由が全くわかりませんでしたついさっきまでねまさかその運転手が登場界の四代目桐生一馬さんだったとは正直今も驚いています人違いだ<笑>キリュウさん堂島会長の行方何かご存知ではないですか俺は客を乗せ高速を走り再び長洲街の近くで降ろしたそれ以外のことは何も知らない本当なんですねああ Oh, man. 話はそれだけかじゃあ俺は会社に He's それでいいんですかキリュウさん本当にあなたは堂島会長を見捨てたまま平気でいられるんですか見捨てるそうです登場会は今大きな選択を迫られています福岡に来たのもそのためですその大事な場面で会長が消えるなんてただごとじゃない事故かあるいは最悪の場合そんな状況だというのになんでそんなに冷静でいられるんですかそんなに簡単に会長のこと見捨てられるんですかあいぞジブンはまだ東条の大門担いでから日も浅いです正直四代目がどういう人だったのかも分かりませんでも会長はいつも言ってました俺は四代目の作った登場会を守りきるってうんはいぞ今回の山笠組との一件も本当は他の幹部から反対されていたんです山笠組と登場会は格が違う。五分の杯なんかありえないと。でも会長は、四代目との約束を守るため、泥水を飲む覚悟を。Sure、we'll the the end of the previous game to now。That's caused them to be this distant。あの夜会長は、どこに行こうとしていたのか。俺は本当に知らないんだあんたそれでも男かよ堂島会長は友達じゃねえのかあいぞどういう事情があるんだか知らねえがどうしてそこまで知らきり通すんだよ He genuinely doesn't know what happened. その手を離せ離せと言ってるだろうわかりましたあなたは桐生一馬さんではなく鈴木太一さんだとそういうことですねそうだ兄貴わかりましただったら話は簡単です今からあなたには痛い目に遭ってもらいますあおっしゃあなたが登場界の四代目だというならどんな事情があれ我々が手出しすることなどできません。<笑>ですが、あくまで一階のタクシードライバーだと言い張るのなら、話は別。力づくで、本当のことを教えてもらうまで。So、間違いは承知の上、しかし今一刻を争うとき、きれいごとを言ってられる状況じゃありません。我々はヤクザなんです。いざとなれば。暴力を使うということはご存知のはずだいいだろう
そういうことなら相手するしかねえようだな覚悟してください I have heal items, right? 行きます全力で行かせてもらいます Okay, first big fight Damn, I should have pressed triangle. Oh, man, two v one. <laughs> Try and focus the little one down. He's not blocking as much as the big one. Gotcha! Oh! Oh, oh. oh that's brutal. Damn, these takedowns. They're way more visceral. They wanted this. See ya. All right, now it's fair fight. All right, hang on. Let go. Um. Shit, inventory's full. <laughs> Let me use this, then... It does nothing. <laughs> but I can pick this up now. Wait, no, I can't. Why not? Discard. Yeah, there we go. I guess I can get it repaired. That's why it keeps it. God, just wielding a whole ass bench. I mean, if this doesn't give away who he is, I don't know what does. ま、ってください。4代目。俺が知っていることは全て話した。それだけは本当だ。この後どうするかはお前たちの仕事だ。まだそう
That Mizutake place was great. Let me know if you come across any other good restaurants. You can find me in the Ose Bridge. Okay. We have side quests. There's one just straight ahead. Yes. Suzuki-san, this is Hirakawa. Can we talk? Of course. What is it? I forgot to mention it this morning, but there's a program we're participating in. Our company has agreed to clean up trash as part of a local community effort. Why? Did we do something wrong? I don't think it's us personally, but some of the other drivers lit it quite profusely. They'll throw away trash out the window, on break for example. That kind of behavior is a real problem. And if we do nothing to curb it, people will start thinking ill of our industry. So we need to clean up our act and clean up the town, huh? Exactly. We should be perceived as model citizens. I know it's extra work, but if you see any trash around town, would you mind picking it up? The chief is offering incentives to whoever goes above and beyond quota, so everyone's pitching in. That's admirable of him. Then I'll lend my support. We'd all appreciate it. Now, are you done for the day? Yes, I'm heading home now. Have a nice night, then. See you tomorrow. You'll notice... Shining objects in the ground while walking around. Okay. Different types of trash. Side quest! Excuse me, do you have a minute? Sure, what do you need? I'm from the Nagusu, Nagusu, Nagasu Tourism Board. I can't read. Right now we're running a, an advertising campaign to try and raise Nagas, Nagasugai's profile as a tourist destination. It's past midnight. An advertising campaign, not a bad idea. Thank you for saying so. Now, I'd like to ask you to take some photos of places around Nagasugai that you think are must-see landmarks. The photos you take will be used in pamphlets and posters promoting Nagasugai as a tourist destination. If you can shoot five sightseeing spots for me, I'll give you a fabulous gift. What is with this camera angle? There's a post in the way. <laughs> hmm, I'm interested, but I don't have a camera. Oh, well, there's no problem there. I have a high-end, single-lens reflex camera to lend you just for this. Sounds expensive. How much is the rental? Rental? I'll loan it to you for free. I'll need your contact info, though. You know, in case something comes up. Not much reason to say no. I guess I could snap a few shots. Okay, you got a deal. Great, here's your camera. I'll be here in this very spot for as long as the campaign is running. Come back once you've shot five locations. Good luck out there. When you visit sightseeing spots around town, the photograph icon may appear. Okay. Guess I'll see what I can find around town. Is it going to be like a tutorial thing? Yeah, there we go. This is a nice spot here. A view of the Nagasu food stalls. Yeah, this is a good shot. This is the ramen stall the chief took me to. Maybe I should stop in. Doesn't look all busy. Hell yeah. Yes, I. Welcome. Hello. Hmm? Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, got it. You're the guy who came in with Nakajima-san. Thanks for coming back. Your name was? Suzuki. Right, right, Suzuki-san. You know your boss is a regular here? When he gets tipsy, he always uh, he always starts talking about you. Does he now? Yep. Our new hire, a fellow named Suzuki-san. Looks serious as all get out. Always wears a frown cut in ditches in his forehead, he says. I heard the story, but he wasn't kidding. You look like you could stare down a bull in mid-charge. Uh, I don't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. Tell you what, though. 
Nakajima son's taking a real shine to you. He's always singing your praises for working so hard all the time. There's he's mighty grateful to have you on board. He really said that? Yep. Oh, you know what? Your order's on me today. Don't be shy about filling your belly either. No, I couldn't possibly. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nakajima-san's always done right by us, so it's the least I can do. That's very generous of you. Thank you. So what are you having? Ramen, please. Aye, one ramen coming up. How firm, buddy? How firm? The noodles. Yeah, our noodles come in six levels of firmness. Very soft, soft, regular, hard, very hard, and dunked. As Hakata locals, we like our noodles on the firm side. Dunked is just dunking the noodles to remove the flour. I'd recommend very hard for our, for newbies. Then I'll try very hard, please. Aye. One ramen, very hard, coming right up. Well, tasty, wasn't it? It was. I'm surprised at how much... Those extra firm noodles absorb the flavor of the broth. It gives it a very rich taste. Well, ain't that a treat to hear. Welcome to the world of Hakata Ramen. Next time, bring that boss of yours, will ya? Sure. But I really should be paying. I said it's on me, Suzuki-san. You don't need to get so uptight about it. But... Hey, no buts. Just enjoy. You sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. Even so... Suzuki-san, that's about enough. Ow! Is he okay? Ugh! Ouch, damn! What's wrong? Ah, it's my back! I went at it too hard with my old lady last night. Did you maybe throw out your back? If so, you need to get... You need to go get... You need to get to... Uh, doctor, jeez, I can't read. No, not now. There'll be a bum rush of customers soon. Like a waterfall of them. We call it the Niagara of Death. The Niagara? Oh, wait. It's not Niagara. Niagara of Death. Yep, that's when we pull the most business in. Can't afford to leave the place now. Uh, but with this wretched spine of mine, I can barely stand, let alone boiled noodles. Ugh, what am I going to do? Hi, no. How about you fill in behind the counter just for now? You want me to do it? Yeah, the soup and the toppings are all ready to go. All you gotta do is boil the noodles and schlop them into bowls. Nothing complicated. I doubt it's that simple. It is that simple. Now come on, I'm begging you. If I close up shop now, we'll be hurting for cash flow down the road. Besides, I don't want to disappoint the folks who come specifically looking for us. Well, he is a friend of the chief's, and I do owe him for the ramen. I should help the man. Okay, I'm not sure how well I can do, but I'll try to help you out. You will? Oh, you're a savior. No wonder Nakajima-san sees so much in you. I'll pay you for your time, too. Hey, you got room for four? Yep. Uh, sit wherever you like, and I'll be right with you. Oh, boy. <laughs> this wasn't like a dragon mission. Look at you, Suzuki-san. Looking good in an apron. Alright now, it's about to start time when customers and orders come crashing down like a mighty waterfall of chaos and confusion. It's time for the Niagara of Death. Yep, that's all there is to it. Remember, it's all about firmness. Life is about firmness. Good luck. Okay. Remove noodles, remove noodles slash cancel, remove noodles, remove noodles. <laughs> Once a customer places an order, Kiryu must cook the noodles to the requested consistency. They'll gradually soften as they cook. Serve the ramen by pressing the indicated button when the consistency matches. Pace of the customer increases in stages as you successfully fill them. You won't proceed to the next stage, you've botched too many. Up to 100 customers will place orders. Aim for the title of Ramen King. Oh, God. Okay, this is not too bad. It's hard. 
Okay. Very soft all the way to the top. This is gonna suck, because it's gonna get very, very hectic. Ah, oh, I took it too far. I play very hard, okay. Dunk. Hard. Soft. Soft. Regular, that's in the middle. It's gonna start doing two at once soon. That's when it'll very quickly go to shit. Man, I want ramen now. Soft, oh boy. Okay, too soft. Soft. Hard. Hard. Very hard. Dunk. Very hard. Very hard, okay. Dunk. Soft. Regular. Regular. I'm doing okay. The next round's probably gonna... Gonna really get difficult. Dunk. Okay. Hard. Soft. Hard. Dunk. Very hard. Dunk. Regular. 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 Okay. Regular. Soft. Dunk. Soft. Dunk. Oh boy. Jeez. <laughs> it's getting hard. Very hard. Regular. Hard. I can't believe I haven't missed this up. Oh crap, I overdid it. Oh, I messed up the last one. Not bad, I've only messed up two so far. Oh boy, here we go. Oh fuck. This is bad. Regular, regular, okay. Another regular. Regular, dunk, okay. Oh god. I, I fucked up triangle. Regular, soft, okay. Regular, soft, okay. 
This is insane. Oh god. I missed the very hard. <laughs> this is so stressful. Oh, I missed this off. I was waiting, waiting for the dunk on. Oh god. I fucked up. <laughs> Panic. Damn it. It's still, still a pass. That's not, honestly, that's not bad. I only messed up 10. I got Ramen King, so. I think I did well. <laughs> Kevin, it's past midnight. <sighs> Suzuki-san, that was something else. It was like watching the God of Noodles at work. Thank you. Now is your back okay? Huh? My back? Oh, oh, hey. Watching your work. Your magic made me forget all about it. I feel fine now. Ha ha ha. That's good. You're a huge help today. Here's your pay. Come on by anytime you want, okay? I'd be happy to have you work the counter again if you ever feel like it, Suzuki-san. Uh-huh. Oh, and say hi to the chief for me, will ya? Thanks again. I I think I I did as good as I'm gonna do in that mini game. Honestly, not. It was not a downward spiral as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> nice view. Okay, hang on. This is probably a photo. No? The, the prompt would come up. <laughs> Picking up rubbish as well. Model citizen. What's some of this new stuff to see? Damn it! It's about to go in the building. <laughs> oh, come on, stop blocking. What is this? 
Cafe and dining starts Barbie. Oh, it's to play darts. You want to play darts? Yeah, I'll play darts. Sir, it seems you are not in possession of a darts or membership card yet. Okay. symbols. No, not that. Where is that one? <laughs> Beginner. Uh... 301. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what's the throw? I just throw strength. This might be a little complicated. Okay, certain so message scores this way rules. Change thoughts. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll learn by doing. Sir, so, exit. Yeah, I got it. It's hard to do this. <laughs> guy missed. I mean, he's doing better. Throwing is difficult. Oh, damn. I'm probably gonna lose. There we go. Okay. That's how we do. Clunky, but I get it. Damn it, that's bad news. I need to fix it. <laughs> I don't think any of us are gonna get there. Ugh, you got a triple. I think I'm screwed. <laughs> oh man, I fucked. <laughs> fucked it up. Yeah, I lost. Oh, he's just gonna land everything he needs. 
Oh, he busted. Did I win because he... <laughs> no. Okay, that's fine. The throwing is, is tricky. I thought this might have been like the karaoke bar, that's why I <laughs> popped in here. My lot, hang on, where is the exit? Oh, that way. Oh, awkward camera. I'm good, I just wanted to pick up the garbage. Oh, that's what the photo spots look like. Oh, nah. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to fish. I don't want to make this another game that I do fishing in. It's okay. We're not going home just yet. <laughs> 21st century mom. Have you decided what you'll ask Santa for Christmas yet? Oh. Yeah, a smartphone. Well, aren't you a clever little thing? But smartphones are for grown-ups, dear. Ah, but I want to get a smartphone, Mom. Mom, if you love me, you'll get me one. Hmm. I sure don't mind, but I don't think Santa's little elves can make those. Dang it! I guess the holidays are on the horizon. It's already been a year since my last Christmas at Morning Glory. I wish I could do something for the kids this time of year, at least. The guys at Nagasu Taxi might have some ideas. Maybe I'll ask water son about it. Go away! <laughs> Go back. No, 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 no. Apparently, Kyo? Sorry. What the hell? I'm just looking for the side quest. Oh, it's you. That you, Suzuki-san? Hey, Wada-san. How's everything? Not good. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Apparently, nobody wants a ride today. That's unfortunate. Whoa! Was that a hit and run just now? I didn't see it clearly, but... Wait, Yuta! Bring back my Yuta! What's wrong? Was anyone hurt? My boy. They carried off my little boy. He's in the car that just drove away. What? You mean he was kidnapped? Alright, I'll go after them. I'm taking a taxi, Wada-san. Okay! You'd better come too, ma'am. Of course. Please get my Yuta back safe. Is this, this is a taxi mission now, isn't it? Oh boy. No, it's street racing. <laughs> Get the Euro... The Euro music again. Unlike regular races, you win this race by overtaking the other car.
I mean, I appreciate that it's like... I haven't played Crazy Taxi, but I imagine this would be what it would be like. <laughs> that was easy. You better not get in our way, asshole. Yuta, oh god. Mom, help. Let the kid go. You and I need to have a little talk. You think we're just gonna sit down and chat? Nice fucking try. Now if you don't scram this instant, we're putting you in the ground. Wait. Is that you, Atoda san What? Do you know this guy? I can't see his face, but I recognize that voice. I think he's a former employee of ours. My husband fired him the other day for embezzling company funds. Uh, but I gave the money back and now I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. This was my only play. Please, Atoda san let you to go. I promise I won't tell the police. This isn't how I thought it'd go down. It went... I went about it all wrong. I should have kidnapped the wife along with the kid. Look at all this extra bullshit I have to go through. What? You're coming along for the ride too, mystery man. I'm taking all your asses hostage. Now get over here. What? Don't give me that look. You want me to turn you into worm food? You really have no idea how much pain you're causing these people. Maybe I need to give you a taste of it firsthand. Yeah? Well, how about I make you taste your own blood firsthand? Your corpse won't even look human by the time we're done with you. Here we go. Yes, invisible wall. Oh, oh man. Brutal. Slump has fucking becomes wrestling. I mean, you gotta give props to this dude. Didn't run. Oh, he survived. Wow, he survived. Mom, I was so scared. Thank you so much. You aren't hurt, are you? Don't worry about me. I'm just glad you two are okay. Now, what should we do with these guys? <laughs> I've already called the police. They'll be here any moment. Oh, come on. Give us a break, lady. You got your kid back alive, didn't you? You're not getting off the hook that easy. Do you seriously think giving back the money and the kid makes up for what you did? Well... You need to wake up and realize you can't just do whatever you want, using your problems as an excuse. But I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that behind bars. Why you? Who the hell are you anyway? You sure don't act like a track taxi driver. I really appreciate what you've done. If it wasn't for you, who knows what would have happened to Yuta. I can't thank you enough. Hey, don't worry about it. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. There must be something I can do to express my gratitude. Here, this is the least I can give you. <laughs> I'll never forget the way you helped us today. I hope... You know how wonderful you are. For real, you kicked some royal ass back there, sir. These missions are fun. Thanks for letting me borrow your taxi today, Wada-san. Don't mention it. That was a fine thing you did, Suzuki-san. I'm sure anyone would have done it, had they been in my shoes. Anyway, I'll see you around. What about Christmas? Now there goes a hell of a guy. I 
guess just keep heading down the road. Hey, I know that face. You're that taxi driver, Suzuki, right? I hear you've been picking fights with us devil killers. Man, if I had the time, I'd kick your ass in the race right now. But I don't. Guess I'll just have to kick your ass the old-fashioned way. Oh boy. You're up against the wall, like... How do you expect this to go? Man, I don't know how they just block everything. That's right, what? Block this. <laughs> just wasn't getting up. Gave up at the end, though. Gah! It just won't go down, but I'll beat you, you'll see. Sorry. Oh, Suzuki-san. I'd like to talk to you more about what we discussed earlier over the phone. The trash thing? That's right. You see that bulletin board behind you? I'll be posting how much trash everyone picks up there. You're up at the top. Check it out when you want to see who, how much you picked up. Okay. All right. Let's see how I'm doing. I don't know how to read that. I guess I'll keep picking up trash. Oh, hi there, Suzuki-san. Something up, Muromatsu-san? No, uh, well... I have to step out. Can you man the phone, Mur Mur Muromatsu-kun? Jeez. Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. How's it going, Muromatsu-kun? I'm afraid things aren't looking too good. Still acting up, huh? You know anything about computer Suzuki-san? Not much, no. Hmm. That computer's been acting up lately, running slow all of a sudden. Ah, what's this? What happened? What? Empty windows keep popping up. They won't stop. Wait, I know what this is. It's one of those cyber terrorism attacks. Cyber... Terrorism? What's that? You mean someone's hacking into our computer? What do you think we should do, Suzuki-san? Cider hacking? Like, hacking up food? I don't understand how this relates to computers. I'm not good with them. Damn goes for the lot of us here, but that computer's got a ton of data on it and we need to hold on to it. We're counting on you, Suzuki-san. Can you think of everything? Okay, I'll see what I can do. First of all... <laughs> Whack the box. Tap random keys. Pull out the cord at the back of the box. I think the cord at the back of the computer might be the answer. Cord? Oh, you mean the LAN cable? What do I do with that? Pull it out. As hard as you can. <laughs> I get it. Better take it off the network, huh? Perfect, I see now. I mean... It's got a clip, like, if you yank it like that, it's just gonna rip the computer. So, did that do the trick? Is this guy watching porn? <laughs> What's this, Suzuki san? Some girl is moaning through the computer speakers. Uh oh, I guess it was a trap. Nakajima-san, the attacker must have known what we do. What do you mean? They probably set it up 
to play that moaning sound when the cord is pulled out to stop us from getting to the bottom of this. Whoever came up with this plan knows I every move. We're up against a top foe, tough foe. Oh, come on, we can't have a girl moaning in the office all day, especially not one who keeps asking us to put it back in! You gotta do something, Suzuki-san. Okay, next up. I love these games, really. Restart the computer. I'll restart the computer. Okay, fine. I'll try anything at this point, just make it fast. Alright, here goes. Any luck? No, it didn't seem to do anything. Shit! We're screwed then. Calm down, Nakaji Nakajima-san. We still have other options. Next, I'll... This is so stupid. Yeah. That moaning voice is telling us to not pull the LAN cable out. Good thinking. <laughs> Did that stop the moaning? <laughs> What's this, Suzuki-san? It's saying something different now. All this stuff about not pulling out and putting it in deeper is gonna fry my damn circuits! It seems they anticipated we'd do that as well. We'll never get any work done with this here racket going on. I guess we're gonna, <laughs> gonna have to go with the last resort. Last resort? Pulling the power cord out of the computer, that'll stop it in its tracks. But that could place a lot of strain on the hard disk, you realize you could lose all the data, right? Well, we ain't got much of a choice. The data is still intact now, though. It's just a moaning voice. I think it's too early to give up yet, Nakajima-san. We tried everything! That voice is driving me battier than a belfry, belfry at midnight. I'm gonna do it! Let's get this ever done with! Stay out of the way, Suzuki-san. Maybe I should stop Nakajima-san. Stop him. Muramatsu-san is right, Nakajima-san. I get the feeling that you shouldn't touch that cord. But what'll people think if they walk in and hear this moaning, this voice moaning away? You said there's important information in the box, right? Do you want to risk losing it? I guess, no, not, no. What on earth are you doing? Hirakawa-san, when did you get back? Never mind that, shut off that moaning sound! It's hardly appropriate for the workplace. That's the problem, we can't. The computer got hit by a cyber-terrorism attack. Cyber-terrorism? Let's see. Oh, this is just a joke program. It's not one of those nasty viruses that steals data or destroys your computer. I'll install my antivirus software for you. Antivirus software? Everyone knows you need antivirus software these days. Haven't you taken any precautions at all? Didn't know I needed to. I can't believe you. Okay, that should do it. The moaning stopped. Aha! Nicely done, Hirakawa-san. Are we all good now, then? That'll take care of the virus, so don't worry about it. But this is the kind of program you often find lurking on adult sites, Nakajima-san, Muramatsu-kun. I'd prefer it if you didn't view those sites on work PCs from now on. What? I hope you're not suggesting that I... what well, you think you are. I know that this is the computer I use, but it wasn't me. Yeah, me neither. What's your evidence, huh? You shouldn't assume the worst of people, Hirakawa-san. Oh, don't take me for a fool. I'm not naive enough for, to fall for that line. Bah, say what you will. I know nothing. I'm just glad Suzuki-san was here to help us out. I was about to pull the power plug out. You were? That would have ruined the hard disk. Crisis averted, Suzuki-san. Here's a little something to say for thanks. Go on, take it. Of course I don't have enough room. Sure. Huh, never a dull minute around here. But I mean, she's right. It's like, the only way you get that shit is on dodgy sites. Suzuki-san, I have some work for you. Let me see. Still another one of these.
I'm from Nagasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. To Mese Street, please. No need to hurry. So drive carefully, won't you? Of course. Let's go. I want to get one of these right. Okay, if I make a left turn immediately... It's easier. Okay. Be a good taxi. Be a good taxi. I mean, it should be indicating when changing lanes, but it's not penalizing me for that. Hey, Colorin, how's it going? Hey, you think so? Ha ha! Yeah. That's alright. In here. <laughs> You're getting over a stomach virus, oh no. Hopefully it's not too serious. I've been alright. This week's been better. Been settling into the new place. In here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm over a pedestrian car thing. That dude went through the car. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm not driving the wrong... I'm not driving the wrong way. Why did I get driving the wrong way? I... Why did I get penalized? <sighs> that would have been perfect if it wasn't for that. It's Suzuki. Ah, well... That was a very smooth ride, Suzuki-san. I'll ask you by name next time. Thank you. Be seeing you, then. Which game is this one in the series? It's, uh, number five. So, I mean, the story so far is since the last one... Uh, the main character's taken up a new name, he's in a new city... And he's not living with the daughter he adopted anymore. So, he hasn't said why. And as far as, like, the whole crime thing goes, um... The guy that took over his job is missing. Mm -hmm. And he was the last person to see him. So, that's about it. There's some... war brewing as well in the background. What's wrong, Suzuki-san? You're looking glum. I am. This is just how I always look, though. Don't play dumb. I can see a read on all over your face. What's on your mind? Let's say you had to live away from the people you care about. What would you do, Wada-san? People you care about, huh? Sorry, I, I shouldn't have brought this up. Forget I said anything. If you care about them, you should have stayed. What? They say... Even when apart, you're still connected in a way. That's the truth, but people aren't always as strong as they make out to be. Still, there are plenty of ways to stay in touch even when you can't be there in person. I guess you should do what you can do now or you might regret it, but that's what I think. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Heh, <laughs> no worries. I can upgrade my abilities. Okay. 
Okay, for now. Water Sun stole right through me. He's right, though. There must be something I can do. Christmas is coming up soon. I could at least send the kids enough money to buy the gifts they wanted. I'll just use the ATM to transfer the money over. If I send it all at once, the kids might get confused, though. Oh, I know. Splitting the money into separate payments might give them an idea what it's for. There's Taichi, Koji, Mitsuo, Shiro, Ayako, Riona, Eri, and Izumi. Eight total. Heh. <laughs> On second thought, that might be even more confusing, but I'm going to do it anyway. I guess I'll start with the youngest, Izumi. I remember she always loved dogs. She even brought a stray back to the orphanage and started taking care of it. Heh. <laughs> she can be a little selfish sometimes, but she really takes good care of that dog. Come to think of it, the collar she used when walking the dog was a little tattered. I'll send her enough money to buy a new dog collar. Well, I have no idea what a dog collar costs, but 5,000 yen should cover it. In the, uh, the third game... After just a bunch of stuff that happened, he moved out to the countryside and started running an orphanage. Oh, ah, they're just everywhere. Unfortunately, the orphanage is called Morning Glory, but you know. Maybe I'm just the one with the brain in the gutter. Did I adopt a dog in this one? Uh, I did rescue a little girl and her dog, so there already has been a dog thing. But it was mirroring how I met uh, the daughter that I adopted. There's no explanation yet why he left, but I get the feeling it's just because of the events of the last game. It's just... He probably feels he's putting her in danger just by being around. Which is honestly fair. But he hasn't given the reason yet. I, we'll find out as the story progresses. Apparently she's on TV, so that's that as well. Have a good Christmas, Izumi. It's kind of appropriate as well. I guess this one takes place near Christmas time. <laughs> I didn't know this, so. Hope this brings you some holiday cheer. In order of age, next up is Shiro. He's the same age as Izumi. Unlike the rest of the kids, he never liked playing outside. He was bullied in school for a while. But he learned how to stand up for himself and proved he could hold his own. He was also a big, big reader. I think I'll give him some money for books. He liked books about space in particular. Something you don't come across often would be best. Maybe an encyclopedia of constellations. They go for around, what, 5,000 yen? He's sending everyone 5,000 yen. It's Christmas time. Did I start this today? Uh, I started on Friday. That should keep your imagination filled with excitement and wonder. Next up is Mitsuo, Riona, and Eri. They're all the same age. Guess I'll start with Eri. Eri is probably the one at Morning Glory who took not having her parents the hardest. That might be why she tried so hard to fit in with the other kids at school. I think she finally learned that being herself was the best way to make friends. She's a survival, right? I think she was into rabbit-themed collectibles. She had her heart set on getting a big rabbit plushie. Those probably cost a lot, but I think 8,000 will do the trick. I'm fine, I can, I can probably do all of this. Here's a little friend to keep you company. Okay, that's three. Number four is Riona. Riona's probably the trendiest kid at Morning Glory. She likes fashion and talked about going to Tokyo one day. She's all, she always wore long sleeves to hide the burns she got as a kid. 
I wish I could be there for her until she comes to terms with it. She had her eyes on a new pair of shoes at the local shopping district, I think. If I remember right, they're around 6,000 yen. Okay. Hope you like this. Good, I have a feeling she'll be happy about this. Alright, number five is Mitsuo. Mitsuo had a crush on Riona. <laughs> I even helped him pick out some clothes to impress her. He's got a big heart and I bet he'd be good for her. I hope things go well for the two of them. It's probably because of Riona that he's been more fashion conscious. It'd be good to give him some money for clothes. Last time I only spent about 2,000 yen, but he's grown since then. We'll probably need a bit more. Okay, I'll send 6,000 for Mitsuo. Now there's just the eldest kids, Ayako, Taichi, and Koji. Guess I'll start with Koji. Koji's an active kid who's into soccer and baseball. He treats everyone equally and is a great example for everyone else at Morning Glory. I seem to remember him talking about a signature series glove he wanted. I think it costs about 10,000 yen. That's more than I gave the others, but no big deal. I'll send 10,000 for Koji. Okay. the kid that's into wrestling. That leaves Ayako and Taichi. Taichi first since he's younger. Taichi is still a bit of a rascal, but unlike Koji, he does act his age when it comes to looking after the younger kids. He loves pro wrestling and said he wanted to be a wrestler one day, but now he's talking about working straight out of junior high. I remember re wearing a wrestling mask to cheer him up once. He's been into mask wrestlers ever since. Come to think of it, he even mentioned wanting a replica mask once. You can get them for around 10,000 yen. Last up is Ayako. She's the eldest of the kids at Morning Glory. I remember her being pretty quick on her feet. Heh. <laughs> it was all I could... It was all I could do to keep up with her. Although she's the quiet, pre precocious type, she always actually seems pretty athletic. I can't read. In junior high, she insisted on helping out at home instead of joining a club. We eventually convinced her to join the track team. I hear she's a long-distant runner now. and quite good at it. She's also caring and committed, but I worry she doesn't put herself first often enough. She needs to learn to take it easy sometimes. That's right. Her running shoes are practically falling apart. Okay, I'll send uh, money for... Wow, 20,000. Damn. Merry Christmas. The older they get, the more expensive presents get. Yeah, I imagine so. There, may your new shoes carry you wherever you want to go in life. Alright, that's it. And I'll send an extra... There. Taking care of the kids. Well, I sent money for all eight kids, probably just to feel better about myself, but still. Hey, Suzuki-san. Oh, Vlada-san. Didn't see you there. Yep, just passing by. You sending money again? Yeah. I may be causing more harm than good, though. Who knows? Hard to say. I don't know how much. I don't know much about your background, but what I do know, Suzuki-san, is you're a dedicated man. I can't imagine anyone complaining about that. I hope you're right. Of course I am. Now, then we drink. We're drinking? Oh yes. This is one of the rare moments in our adult lives where we can take a step back and actually appreciate the responsibilities we have. Can't waste an opportunity like that. Huh. <laughs> you may just have a point there. Okay, lead the way. I just walked into a pole. <laughs> Oh, I'm not actually going drinking. I swear I saw garbage, but maybe I'm wrong. Alright, uh... 
There's still a couple of side quests on the board. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, what was that examine? Oh. I'm fine for now. When does my vacation start? Uh next week. I got this week of work and then next week. But this week is, aside from tomorrow, it's going to be pretty chill. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to just doing a mental reset. <laughs> you have to work next week, then you're off Wednesday to Friday for the next two weeks. Oh, that's cool. Got any plans? I mean, besides from prepping for Christmas. Though not during the break, I'm gonna go see the new Studio Ghibli movie uh, next... Well, no, wait, is it next weekend or this weekend? I th it might be this weekend. Wrapping and shopping, yeah. I need to sort out a couple gifts still. Huh? Oh no. What's with that car? Oh, that's the Spangled Media. What's the Spangled Media doing around here? What a son, you know about this car? Why? Is this the first time you've seen it? It is. There's something special about it? Well, sure. The lady who drives this sexy piece of machinery is in charge of the Vixen Zeros. They call her the Spangled Media. And what's the Vixen Zeros? They say they're a group of gorgeous women who can outspeed anyone they challenge. Wish they'd drive up on me someday. So they're essentially an all-girls street racing team. According to the stories, yeah. But I've never heard of anyone who's actually seen their faces. Then they may not be gorgeous at all. Ha! <laughs> That's about the size of it. Guess you could say it's one of those urban legends. Oh, and apparently, the only way to see them is to beat them in the street race. Interestingly enough, Vixen Zeros are usually the ones who initiate the challenges. If you lose, they just speed off, but if you win, catch a glimpse of their beauty. But if nobody's ever seen them in person, does that mean they're undefeated? Who knows? Well, I've heard are rumors. Sure makes a good story though, don't you think? Huh, <laughs> I guess you're right. Okay. I'm guessing that's just unlocking the potential to race them. Garbage! Garbage! <laughs> A round of applause. Well, look, there's two there's two pieces of garbage over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I'll deal with the first piece of trash. God. 
Nope. Only I'm allowed to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know why, I just... The game... It makes me happy. It reduces the number of unwanted conf confrontations around town. That's probably useful. I think for now, keep it. Yeah, I mean, it's like... The plot is a movie that you kind of watch, it's pretty serious, and they're, they're good stories. And there's continuity between the games. And then it's kind of like... A weird mix of GTA and then just strange minigames and side quests. It's the best time to get into this series, because you can play all the games now, because they've been remastered, so... You're actually pretty cute, you know. You could earn a killing at this place. Oh, no thanks. Babe, don't be scared. We're just trying to have a little conversation. What he said. You're in good hands with us. Sorry, but I have somewhere to be. That's fine. It won't take long. Yeah, it'll all be over in no time. Here, just step into the club for a bit. I said I wasn't interested. Hey, quit bothering her, you clowns. Huh? What gives you the right to tell us what to do? Can't you see? You're making her uncomfortable? Just let her be on her way. Ah, oh, all we want is a moment of her time. Fuck your moment of time. Sweetie, you can go now. Well, oh, okay, um, thank you. God freaking damn it, she's gone. Oh well. At least she got replaced with an even prettier package. We'll talk her up instead. And boy does she have the goods. Mm. And that fiery attitude, just my type. Hey hot stuff, you're interested in making some serious cash? Yeah, if you came to work at our club, you'd be rolling in dough in no time. Yeah, right. If the rest of your club operates like you two amateurs, I'd only be rolling in regret, so no thanks. You nasty little bitch! I dare you to say that again. Ha! This chick's so hot she thinks she can actually burn us. Hey babe, if you want to make a good first impression, that's really not how you do it. Who said I wanted to impress you? Next time you talk to a lady, try having more class than, Hey baby, I'm too dumb to treat you with respect. Wanna bang? Huh? Hey, I do not talk like that. Do I? Huh? This bimbo. I think we need to take teach this biker babe wannabe some manners. Hey, back off. Seriously, cool it. You barkers aren't known for your restraint, but this is crossing the line. And who are you supposed to be? Just another person passing by, but if you think I'll keep on walking while some goons harass a lady, you're mistaken. I appreciate the gesture, but I'm fine. These pricks don't know what kind of lady they're dealing with. Step right up, then. We're gonna pound you both into the ground. I don't know what your deal is, but I can't let your attitude go unpunished. Let's do this. I got the feeling she's gonna teach me fighting moves. That's usually the case. Ah, oh, come on. Damn it, I missed the move. <laughs> I love this move, this move is so good.
He's still alive. How is he still alive after that? We're sorry. We're so stupid. We'll leave. Just don't tell anyone about this. Our rep's on the line. Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah, and you? I thought I said stay out of this. Don't worry. This is far from the first fight I've been in. No shit. Well, you did help me from getting my hands dirty. Hey, why don't I buy you a drink? My way of saying thanks. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm not in for it for any reward. You might be fine with that, but I hate leaving favors unpaid. It's a karma thing. The name's Rina Nanami. Here's my business card. Zero girls? Heh. <laughs> they can read. Yeah, that's my club. Hate it when people call me Mama, though. I see. No wonder you carry yourself that way. Well, when you're a woman, you gotta keep your head held high or people take advantage. People will always see nightlife entertainment as a man's world, so if you're a gal like me who wants to make it in the industry, you gotta work twice as hard. That makes sense. Not that it's right, of course. Well, my job is to show I can do more than any man out there. To prove women can win in a man's world. And what pisses me off the most is... People who say only men can get ahead and deny women our place in society. I see. So, I guess you weren't all that thrilled when I said I couldn't ignore a lady being harassed, huh? Maybe it sounded like I was looking down on you. Yep. You get it. Still, I'm glad you did what you did. Heh. <laughs> Me too. Come to think of it, I haven't even asked your name. Who are ya and what do you do? Oh, I'm Suzuki. I'm a taxi driver. Suzuki? A taxi driver. Could it be? Was something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. I'm sure there are plenty of Suzuki-sans out there. Come to think of it, Zero Girls reminds me of a street racing group I heard about not too long ago. The Vixen Zeros, if I remember right. Oh? In fact, I heard they're made up of beautiful women. I even saw their leader's car. I think people call her... The Spangled me The Spangled Meteor. Well, aren't you an enigma? I wouldn't have picked you for the type who keeps up with street racing culture. Not many people know about that name. Don't suppose you're a street racer yourself? Oh, no. Not me. Hmm. You sure? Huh. Maybe I'm just reading into it. Oh, speaking of street racing, I heard an interesting story myself the other day. The Nagasu taxi driver is apparently taking on the Devil Killers. I think his name is Suzuki-san, too. She's on to me. Coincidence, huh? Could you be the very same Suzuki? I mean, what are the odds, right? Hehe. <laughs> you know, I just remembered I have some urgent business. Don't worry about that drink. I have to go. Hey, Suzuki-san. I'll pay you back some other time, okay? Later. So she's heard rumors about me. Wonder if she's a street racer herself. Could I have met the Spangled Media just now? Most likely. Okay. Last quest on the board. Wait, photo. Oh, oh no, this is a nice spot here, got it. Then maybe stop a battle as well. Yeah, this is a good shot. Trash. I 
wonder if it's set in stone or if it's random. Um, then that way. Come on. Oh, it's at the taxi place. Oh, I think it's just saying that there's taxi missions available. But apparently there's another one behind me. Okay. that's That one seems to be set in stone, but there is actually another side quest up at the end here. I thought you could sprint in this. Doesn't look like the sprinting. Photograph. This is a nice spot here. The Don Quixote building. Hey, are you alright? Ugh, I think I sprained my ankle. Can't move a muscle. Ah, damn that smarts. You should get that looked at by a doctor. Is there a hospital you can go to? Can't ah, right now. I got customers waiting for their Odin. Gotta start work right away. You shouldn't take injuries lightly at your age. Look, I've been running the same damn stall in the same damn place for 30 goddamn years. I'll be damned if I let this ankle stop me now. You okay? No, gosh dang it! The rush will be starting soon, can't just sit here. Gotta start hauling ass on this thing. You won't be hauling anything like that. Then maybe I can get, get you to haul it for me? Huh? Come on! I'll make it worth your while. Just move my stall over to South Nagasuwa Street. No, Nagasugawa Street. But how are you going to get there? Temple. I'll just take a cab and wait for you. Now then, treat the old girl gently. Bitter and old I may be, but lose that soul and I may as well lose my life. I'm begging you. Do an old man a favor. Fine. Okay. All I have to do is move this thing to South Nagasugawa Street, right? That shouldn't be too hard. Great. I owe you one. But business is going to get busy real fast. You got to hurry. Sure, leave it to me. Okay, thanks again. Remember, we're on a tight schedule here. This is just another taxi. It's another taxi machine. Oh god. There are no penalties for settlement. Okay. Okay, this is funny. Nope. You're not crossing. I mean, there's no indicators. You asshole. You ran in front of it. You could have stopped. <laughs> oh no. I'm not ignoring the traffic light. Okay, now I'm ignoring the traffic light. There's only a minute left. That dude ran. He was walking and then saw the cart and just ran into it on purpose. Fine. 
Okay, we're nearly there. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Hey, over here. Good work, man. I got customers waiting. I hope you made it on time. Oh, I made it on time. I've been waiting here for ages. How come it took you so goddamn long? But you, did you get the stall here in one play, piece? Oh, mercy. What the hell did you do to my baby? Something wrong? The stall's a disaster inside. Which way did you come? I've never seen such a mess in my life. Sorry, it's my first time pulling a streetcar. Ah, well, I'll have a good as new again in no time. I'll just have to ask the customers to wait a little while, though. Hmm, it ain't a lot, but here's something for lugging my stall. But, I mean, appreciate the pay, <laughs> considering what happened. Where am I now? Okay. Yeah, I messed up. I thought I had less time. It's a little early, early, but should I head to bed? Yes. Yeah, I should get some rest. I'm exhausted. <laughs> they have the clunkiest save screens. Chapter 3. The plot unfolds. Alright, we'll settle in this cutscene now. I guess we're going to find out what happened. She's older now. Really? <laughs> お前も来年は高校生。次の年には大地や工事も中学を卒業する。もう大人の世話になる年でもないだろう。それにお前のために出て行くわけじゃない。俺もガキの世話に飽きていたところ。Oh, he's putting up a front. お前の芸能界入りは関係ない。それだけじゃないことは分かってる。いくらおじさんが嘘ついたって分かってるんだから。お金なんでしょう。白社長が
おじさんがここからいなくなることを条件に援助するって言ってきたんでしょごめんおじさんが気を使って嘘ついてくれてたのは分かってるああでも私には嘘ついてほしくなかったからタイチがな高校に行かないで働くと言うんだえ大地だけじゃない綾子も浩二も最近じゃ四郎までがそんなことを言い出してるあいつらは自分が犠牲になってでもこの朝顔を守ってお前が成功して戻ってくる日を待つと言っている私の帰りをああお前はあいつらの希望の星なんだお前が歌手として成功しまたこの場所に戻ってくることがあいつらの望んでいる幸せだみんなだがあいつらは犠牲を払うには幼すぎる金がないという理由だけで自分の可能性を潰すような生き方を選ばせるわけにはいかない okay, so that's why I left. でもきっとみんなはそれでもおじさんと暮らしたいんだよ私もそうだからありがとうなでもここが潮時だ俺らにだっていつの日か離れ離れになる日が来るんだからなだから俺はここを去るお前や朝顔のみんなのことを愛しているからおじさんI did a whole chapter and all the side quests from that chapter, so we'll continue this next time. If you are watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of this game so far. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the like button. It helps out a lot. So thanks to those that do do that. Or if you want to watch me play something else in the meantime, you can always just click one of the videos that have popped up by now. So hope you check it out. Until next time, bye YouTube.